Today I'm going to show you how to make this mini Valentine marshmallow bear. It's super easy to make and you could give it away as a gift or you could use it as a cupcake decoration. Here are all the things that you're going to need to make this mini bear. I'll give you a list underneath this video. Also, if you only want to make one bear, then give yourself about an hour. As a first step, I took some red Wilton candy melts and I melted them in the microwave. I left them in there for about a minute and then I mixed in one teaspoon of cooking oil to make it a little bit smoother. To make the bear's pants, take a marshmallow and then dip it into the candy melt so that the bottom third of the marshmallow is covered. Then just put it down to dry for about, I would say, 10 or 15 minutes. Now that the red candy melt is dry, I'm going to start attaching the small body parts to the, the little bear. Uh, I'm going to need two small marshmallows for the legs, two for the arms, uh, one of these is going to be used for two of the ears, and I'm going to need one for, to make the nose. But first, I'm, I'm just going to attach the legs. And um, to do that, put the, the torso of the bear in the upright position like this. The red is going to be the pants, so there's a, that's going to be at the bottom. And I'm just going to attach these legs like this, and then I'll let that dry. So just put a little bit of this frosting glue on the bottom of each small marshmallow. Oh, the frosting glue is made of one quarter cup powdered sugar and one and one quarter teaspoons water. It's very simple to make. Put a little bit on the second leg. I would let it dry for about a minute before you attach it. That way it'll just stick better. Um, but I'm just going to attach them right now just to show you. So put them at the bottom and at the front. So if you look at it from the top view, and if this were a clock, this would be like five o'clock and this would be seven o'clock. So um, put the legs out at an angle a little bit like this at the bottom of the torso. Um, that way, as they're drying, the surface that you're working on will sort of support the legs. Um, so I'm just gonna let that dry for a few minutes before I, I attach the arms. Okay, now I'm just gonna attach the arms. So take your, your torso and uh, place the arm about halfway um, along the side of, of this larger marshmallow and then push it forward a little bit. That way the, the bear will end up looking a little bit more natural because his arms won't be sticking, you know, straight out to the side. Uh, so put it in the center of the side and then push it forward a little tiny bit like that. And you can, you know, hold them in place for a few seconds and then, and then set them down to dry for, you know, I would say about five minutes or so. And uh, I would let the, the arms dry completely before you continue working on him. Now the legs and the arms are, are pretty secure. So I'm going to work on the ears and the nose. So take one of these little marshmallows and just, and cut it in half. Um, these are going to be the two ears. Take another marshmallow, cut that in half too, and uh, this is going to be, one of these pieces is going to be the muzzle of the bear, so you won't need the other half. Now, um, to attach the ears, just put a little bit of glue or frosting on the bottom of each one and attach it to the top of this larger marshmallow and put it right on the edge like this. Do the same to the other one. So that's the easy part, the super easy part. And uh, take the muzzle of the nose. We're going to put the muzzle right in the center of this larger marshmallow. It's going to go right in between where the arms are. Um, and that's kind of important too because you want to leave enough space on top for the eyes later. Ah, losing my grip. And uh, just attach it to the center, like, like that. And uh, you know, you could put it on its back like this to dry for a few minutes. Um, 
Because what we're going to do is uh, we're going to attach a coffee bean to the to the tip of the muzzle in a minute. But I, if I do it now, this whole piece is going to be too heavy. So I'm just going to wait a minute um, and let this dry. So I left this in the refrigerator for about five minutes until all the little pieces were completely dry. And um, before I attach the coffee bean to the tip of the muzzle, what I'd like to do is, um, and, is make the eyes. And I'll attach the coffee bean last. To make the eyes, take your toothpick and dip it into your, your frosting. And if the frosting dries up a little bit, just add a few drops of water. And now um, I'm going to make a hole um, at about um, this point and uh, to the left of the muzzle um, over here at the side. So I'm just going to uh, mark where I'm going to put the eyes with the tip of my toothpick and now I'm going to kind of drill into the marshmallow a little bit deeper and um, turn it around like this to make the hole a little bit larger. Um, like that. Now I'm going to grab a couple of sprinkles to, to put into those holes. For the eyes, I'm going to use these Wilton Rainbow Chip Crunch sprinkles. And I already pulled out a couple of the dark brown ones. And, and they have a flat side and a pointy side. So I'm going to take the pointy side and, and stick it into that hole that I made earlier. And just push it in until it's sort of flush with the, the rest of the marshmallow. And then do the same thing to the other side. Stick it. If the hole isn't big enough, just um, take your toothpick and make it a little bit bigger. There. Next, I'm going to attach a coffee bean to the muzzle of the bear. Just pick a coffee bean that has sort of a nice surface. Um, just put some glue on the back. And then attach it to the top half of the muzzle. Like this. Now I'm going to put him on his back and let him dry for a while. As a final step, I'm going to attach these little hearts to the right arm of the bear. These are Wilton icing decorations. And they come attached to this, um, this sheet. So I'm going to put some icing on the back of this blue one. Just cover the whole thing. And then uh, I'm just going to attach it to his right arm. And I'm going to turn it to an angle a little bit like this, just so it looks more interesting. And the bottom will probably be propped up by the, the leg, so, that, so it'll stay in place a little bit better. Now he's completely finished. So here's a couple of ideas for what you can do with these mini bears. You can put the mini bear into a small decorative box and then give it away as a gift. Another fun idea is to simply use them as a cupcake decoration. And finally, I think this makes a good Valentine's Day project for kids because it's easy and it's creative. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and come back again sometime.